Trump just enraged Hillary with perfect gift he sent her after her addiction secret gets out. Hillary Clinton is back in the spotlight as she gearing up to push her memoir What Happened. The book will chronicle the 2016 presidential candidate loser about her experience during the election and how she handled the loss. In the book, Hillary Clinton hints at a possible addiction to alcohol in an obvious attempt to garner sympathy from her rabid supporters and blame President Trump for her pain. Well, if Hillary Clinton was ticked off by her epic loss last November what Trump just tweeted should have her even angrier. Hillary Clinton is like a gnat that just won't go away no matter how many times you swat at it. Just when you think that she would slink off back to the hole she came from, she re-emerges again. Clinton has just finished writing her memoir detailing her loss last November to Donald Trump. It is apparent this memoir is supposed to help soften her image in order to make her more sympathetic, but it has already become an internet joke. The title that Hillary Clinton chose was clearly not thought out and begs for someone to make fun of it. And, guess what? Someone has and it is hysterical, but what makes it even funnier is that President Trump just retweeted it. Within hours of returning to Washington, D.C. after visiting the flood-ravaged cities in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, President Trump took the time to take a swipe at Hillary Clinton by sharing this meme. As of late Saturday night, the meme has been shared more than 3,500 times and liked over 10,000 times. Of course, Trump got right back to business and tweeted topics on a more serious note, but you know the left is already raging mad, right? Here is more from Daily Mail, Clinton is expected to launch a nationwide book tour to promote the memoir. Her campaign against Trump and her shocking election loss are written about extensively in the book. In one chapter of the book, Clinton explained what was going on in her head when Trump lurked behind her during a presidential debate in St. Louis, Missouri. It was incredibly uncomfortable he was literally breathing down my neck, Clinton said. My skin crawled, she recalled. Hillary noted that the October 2016 debate came just days after the release of a shock audio tape in which Trump was heard bragging about groping women. Clinton steamed, what would you do? Do you stay calm, keep smiling and carry on as if he weren't repeatedly invading your space? Or do you turn, look him in the eye and say loudly and clearly, back up, you creep, get away from me. Another excerpt tells how she almost fell victim to bad branding and fresh embarrassment as she created a new political organization in the aftermath of her election loss. Clinton also opened up about her dark days with Bill in a new memoir but doesn't mention Monica Lewinsky by name as the once presidential hopeful admits that she stayed with the former president because she loved him. Clinton, herself, will be speaking out, not just in the pages of the book but on a 15-city book tour being called Hillary Clinton Live. Tickets at some of the Canadian dates are going for $1,200 American dollars each. While her first stop, in Washington, D.C. at a venue that's one block from President Trump's hotel and two blocks from the White House, tickets sold out within minutes, with some prize seats now being sold on StubHub also for $1,200. This book is nothing but fluff and is 100% all about rebranding Clinton's image into something more likable. Hillary Clinton lost the election not just because her policies would have sunk America, but she also came off as insincere. Clinton reeks of the old tired establishment of money and elitism and the American people were not buying this time. Clinton was caught in numerous lies, scandals, and whatever else you can throw at her. Women didn't like her because she claims she is for women's rights but acts like a victim that can't leave her philandering husband. Men don't like her because she puts them down with her incessant screaming of patriarchy and white privilege. And, the black community threw her out since her policies would do nothing to help them. It was the time for fresh blood to be injected into the shark tank of DC and the only one that was big do it was Donald Trump himself. Trump is a brash New Yorker who has a thick skin that can handle the constant attacks from the petty left and dish it right back out. This jab at Clinton was just his way of playing the game right back with them, and they hate it. These leftists are used to being able to call the shots, but not this time and it is glorious. Share if you love President Trump's jab at Hillary Clinton. Please do not forget like on videos 
and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.